Hello, my beautiful Librans. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Um, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, guys, so we have the soulmate card, twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives. Okay, there we go. Okay, so whether you believe in twin flames or not, this could just be letting me know that this is a very intense, uh, you know, connection here. Now with soul contract, you know, you may be inquiring about a person that you feel or, or, you know, it could be a mutual feeling where it's like, you guys have a purpose together. You know, they're, you know, this person could feel like they're constantly, um, you know, drawn to you or they always find their way back to you and they feel like something here is very repetitive and they want to get to the bottom of it. Now, it also says past lives, so connections. So there could be a lot of chemistry here. There could be, um, you know, a lot of comfort between the both of you, a lot of security. But I do feel like it's a very intense connection off the bat here. But there may be an energy of like digging beneath the surface for answers or like figuring out, okay, why do I feel so drawn to Libra? Or like, no matter what happens, why do we always find our way back to each other? You know, there's like a lot of questions here is what I'm sensing. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck here, split the deck, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So what I see is some sort of clarity or a breakthrough in this situation after things moving very slowly between the both of you. So you may feel like this bond, it, it moves very slowly, or it has actually come to a stop, right? So it's at a very complacent space, but I do see a breakthrough. Ace of Swords could also be read as like, um, you know, a peace offering. So someone who's coming forward with clarity, but in, in you know, um, in terms of like wanting to make peace with you, wanting to make peace with the situation. So I'm going to start off by seeing how this person currently views you. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the um, complacent energy that I was picking up on is definitely, uh, you know, present here because with the hanged man, some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. But what I see here is this person is viewing you as someone who is do doing more thinking than doing. They may feel like you are looking at the situation, you are thinking of them, possibly even having a shift in perspective, but you're more so pondering on the situation or trying to figure out some sort of details. So they feel like as of right now, you may be thinking of them, but you're not necessarily doing anything about it. Okay, so bottom of the deck here, we have the chariot the Knight of Swords and the King of Cups. Okay, so this person may view you as someone who is, uh, you know, still connected to them emotionally. And with the Knight of Swords, I think that they're viewing you as someone who has something to say. So you have something to say, you want to communicate something, but right now, you know, they feel like you're kind of, you know, in hermit mode or like you are putting things on, you know, uh, pause right now. They could sense you're thinking of them, but they could also sense that you may not be the you may not want to be the first one to initiate a conversation or make the first move here. So that's how they're viewing you. Okay, it doesn't mean that's how you feel. This is their perspective on you. So let's see what's going on in the mutual energy or any challenges. <clears throat> They also view you as someone who has changed their perspective on something. You could have made this person more open-minded or something that they were very closed off to. They're reconsidering now. They do feel like the way, like something that you've taught them or the way that you carry yourself or the way that you are, your mindset is, has kind of altered theirs in one way or another. So yeah, we have the Knight of Swords. So mutually, it seems like there is some sort of communication coming in. There's a desire to speak to each other, get something off your chest here. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. And the Five of Swords. Okay, so it seems that there is a conflict that occurred, okay? <clears throat> so if it's not a conflict between the both of you, it could be mental conflict. And this person may feel like they are still thinking about that. So what they're thinking about is a conflict between the both of you, or they're conflicted when it comes to how to put forward 
put forth some sort of action here with the six of pentacles like they want to take action towards you six of pentacles could be uh you know practical effort gifting you something taking you out you know it could speak about equal give and take so like meeting you halfway but with the eight of swords and the five of swords i do see that this person is very up in their mind the eight of swords could also let me know that there's some sort of restrictions you know at hand here where they may want to take a leap of faith towards you but they may feel like they're they, like you know they're restricted in one way or another whether it's because um you know of their current circumstances whether that's you know another connection the fact that they need to relocate the reason why they feel restricted could be different but for many of you it could just be what's going on in their mind because we have the eight of swords and the five of swords so that's more so like the thoughts that you're thinking so this person could be in their own way as of right now but there is an energy of you guys wanting to communicate or, or get something off your chest here Five of Cups, a lot of missing, a lot of longing here. I do see that. And bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Okay. This is interesting because this is someone who wants to emotionally, you know, confess. They do feel like you make them very happy. Nine of Cups is when someone is viewing you as like wish fulfillment. Someone who makes them very happy. Someone that they, you know, wished for, that sort of thing. But with the Knight of Cups... They do want to come forward. They do want to tell you how they feel, but we have the seven of wands energy. This person is missing you. They want to tell you how they feel, but they feel like there is some sort of a guarded energy or there's like a barrier between the both of you. Because with the seven of wands, it could be like where this person wants you to let down some sort of guard or they feel like, you know, you are upset about something. Maybe that's why the relationship is on pause here. But this could also be this person wanting to communicate to you, but they feel like you are a bit on the fence right now. So they're not really sure how to go about it. This could also be the reason why we did see the uh, five of swords as well as the eight of swords, like someone who's in their mind. And they're like, okay, how do I, <clears throat> excuse me, how do I, <clears throat> excuse me, how do I, you know, um, express my emotions? How do I, uh, you know, whether it's come clean or just express how I feel to Libra when I feel like they are a bit guarded towards me. Okay. One, you know, there, this could also be read as like someone being blocked. So this person does want to overcome the obstacle here, but I think something else that's affecting them is like the focus on the past. Because the five of cups could be yes, missing and longing, but it's also, it boils down to dwelling in what did not work here. That's why I say it's a very interesting energy because with the Knight of Cups, they do want to tell you how they feel, but they, it's like they either want to let their guards down or they feel like there's a barrier between the both of you where if they were to come in and speak about their emotions, it wouldn't necessarily make sense right now. Okay, so they're viewing you in the Hanged Man energy. Let's see how you're viewing them. <clears throat> Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles here. And bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Okay, so you're, so either some of you are viewing this person, so like you could have been in a higher level of commitment with them, but you're wanting some sort of change now, or you're just viewing them as someone where, okay, yes, I see a future with this person. I could attain some sort of stability here, but I need to move very slowly or there's an energy of you feeling that you need to be very premeditated with this individual. <clears throat> wow, guys, I don't know what's going on. I am losing my voice. Okay. All right. So you are viewing them as someone where there's a lot of potential in this connection, but a part of you may even feel like you need to slow down or you want things to slow down so, they, so that you can kind of see the entire, uh, you know, picture here. Behind the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups and the Empress. Yeah, you do have a lot of emotions for this person and you do see the potential here, but you're looking at every possible outcome. For some of you, you even though you do see a future with this person, there's some sort of communication that you feel like cannot be avoided. Like you're like, we need to address this or we need to speak about said thing before we think about, uh, you know, uh, moving forward or, or, you know, moving things to the next level. I will say for many of you, you also view this person like there's something about you either feeling like you did share, like you guys shared past lives together, or quite literally, you could have been in a commitment with this person and then there was some sort of a separation or um, the relationship became complacent. So you still view them as someone that you can build with, with the Ten of Pentacles energy, okay, as well as the Empress. But it's also like a part of you may feel like I know my worth and I don't want to be the first one to, you know, initiate a conversation or I don't want to be the first one to, you know, break the silence here. Okay. 
So they're viewing you in the hanged man energy. Let's see how you really feel. Three of cups, okay. Bottom of the deck here, the king of cups, the chariot, okay. So it seemed that for some of you, you could have shifted your focus. You could have decided to, whether it's, you know, go out more, socialize with new people, that sort of thing. I can read it two ways. Or the second thing that I get here, guys, is like, some of you may feel that there's still some sort of indecision present and that's why you're kind of uh, remaining complacent. Does that make sense? Like how you feel is either you're trying to shift your focus. Okay, A, uh, scenario A is you're trying to shift your focus because you feel very drained at this time or you feel like there's too much of a focus on the past. Or number two, uh, or scenario two, you know, it could be that you don't want to respond to this person or you don't want to act on uh, your emotions right now because you feel like there's still some sort of indecision. Okay, so I'm going to clarify the Three of Cups. Yeah, the Hermit. You feel safer in this person's silence right now. There's a lot that you're figuring out, but on your own. There's a lot of clarity coming in for you, but you feel like you need to kind of sit this one out or just stick to yourself and uh, be in a period of solitude to figure out what is really going on. It's almost like you feel better keeping to yourself, at least right now. And it may be because you don't entirely trust the situation. And as much as you're keeping to yourself here, you do feel like you want to tell this person something or get something off your chest. You're just not sure if the communication between the both of you will be consistent. Like, you do want progress here, but the best way for me to boil, it, uh, boil down this energy is like, you, okay, you want progress, but you're like, is this going to go anywhere? Or you want progress, but you're thinking there's still some sort of uncertainty, some sort of indecision. So what's the point of us communicating if we're going to end up at square one? Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and the Page of Wands. Yeah, it's definitely someone who wants a new beginning here, but it seems that the fact that they don't have access to you right now is really stressing them out. Because there's an energy of missing and longing, but there's also a desire for communication. That's what I'm getting at here. Some of you could be dealing with the Virgo, but it seems that you feel more so safer in their silence. And it's because you feel like they're not making a decision or you may have an assumption that someone else is involved. Their three of cups could be read as a third party situation, um, but it doesn't always have to be another person here. I just feel like what's bothering you is if you were to communicate with this person, you're wondering if it will be consistent or if it will, if it will lead to, you know, the current state. Like you're you're willing to communicate with this person if there's going to be a change. But if there's not going to be a change or a solution, you see it as pointless. And for many of you, you could just feel very exhausted. Like the hanged man and the hermit could just be you keeping to yourself because you're you genuinely feel drained. And you're like, okay, I don't really, you know, have the energy or, or I don't have what it takes right now to try and work on things. So you could be taking a much needed uh, break here. So what is the Knight of Swords? Yeah, Nine of Swords. That's, that's like worry when it comes to communicating. So like when your person thinks about speaking to you, they become very worried. There may even be scenarios that they're creating in their mind or thinking about the worst case scenario, which is not really true, but because of what they're telling themselves in their mind, it could lead them to have kind of like a pessimistic mentality. The nine of swords could also be like stress or uh, like I explained, unnecessary worry. So it could be worry that is just caused because you're assuming the worst case scenario or you're assuming something is going to happen when it's really not. So when they think about communicating with you, they become very stressed out. For many of you, you know, you could um, resonate with this energy as well since it's in the um, mutual area here. It could be that you're like, okay, I want to communicate with this person, but I don't know if I'm going to be more stressed out after I communicate with them. It's almost like you have this feeling that communicating with this person, you're not going to get to the bottom of a situation, at least not right now. So you feel like you you may feel uh, safer in, in the silence right now because you feel like if I communicate with this person, what if they stress me out even more? Or what if they give me something else to worry about? And for others of you, it could just be that you're stressed out about the communication in terms of how is it going to go? Like, yes, I want to communicate with you, but like, you know, you're thinking about all the different outcomes, right? Bottom of the deck here, the sun card, the page of swords, and the knight of wands. Yeah. Some of you don't trust this person because of the inconsistency in the past. I will say this is someone who is keeping um, an eye on you with the page of swords. You know, it's someone who's keeping tabs on you, 
But with the Knight of Wands, maybe what's worrying you or the, or the initial reason as to why you held back from this individual is because they were very inconsistent with you. So now you're looking at the situation mainly, not to sound too repetitive, is if we speak, is there going to be a change or am I just going to be more stressed out and confused? It's like you really want clarity and you'd rather try to figure it out on your own than maybe figure it out by speaking to this person. You want more certainty is what I'm getting at. What is the Five of Cups? The Emperor. Yeah, that's an energy of wanting to like take control of the situation at hand. But this also lets me know that, you know, with the Five of Cups, there is missing and longing going on. But maybe on the outside, there's more of like a, a composed demeanor, right? More of like, you know, everything's fine. I'm not really worried. Um, I'm not really thinking about the situation or I don't want to know, let you know how much I am thinking of you. You know what I mean? Like there is that energy of like a hard exterior and then, um, you know, a soft interior here. That's that's pretty much what I'm getting. Um and also with the Queen of Pentacles, guys, like some of you may view this person to be more career focused at this time, or you feel like they're just working towards their finances. Um, you know, maybe they got a new job, but you feel like they're very focused on their stability. So how you're viewing them is the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see how they really feel. And again, guys, like with the Emperor and the Five of Cups, like I do see like um, a desire to take control or, 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 you know, take action here. But I also feel like there's like a... Um, there's some sort of ego or pride involved. Like you may view this person as someone who's not letting their guard down or someone who is um, not showing you how they really feel because they would rather come off as someone who has it under control, even though behind that they are affected by this. Okay, so how do they feel? How do they really feel? Seven of Pentacles. So how this person really feels is they are still thinking about this bond. Two of Cups, they still feel very connected to you and they have hope that you guys can work things out with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Ace of Wands behind that. Still very excited and passionate, but how they really feel with the Seven of Pentacles is when they think of you, Libra, when they think of this um, bond here, they feel like you guys have attained a lot together. So they don't feel like it was all negative. They don't feel like it was all always stressful or when they dwell in the past yes of course there are things that upset them but they do see the positive uh things about aspects about this bond as well now with the seven of pentacles i will say how they feel is there's something that needs to change there's something that needs to be done differently so whether this is their approach whether this is something between the both of you so they may feel like okay this is a very intense connection but i can't handle the fact that it's very on and off or this is a very intense connection but i can't handle the fact that um you know i'm not able to be as consistent as i want to be these are just generic examples but there's a lot of observing going on on the outside, yes, this person may come off as someone who's very career oriented, which I, I believe they are. I don't think that they're pretending, but with the Seven of Pentacles, they are observing this connection from a very realistic point of view. And what they're thinking about is what they can do differently. And they're thinking about the things that did work. Because like, because I'm trying to explain it without it sounding confusing, but it's almost like they're like, okay, well, if we were able to do A, B and C together and we only failed at D, let's just figure out how to do that again. Or, or do that in another way. It's not like we failed at everything. So they, they feel positive about the situation, but there's definitely certain things that are upsetting them as well. I just feel like um, this is also someone who could be playing some sort of a waiting game because the Seven of Pentacles could be like waiting for the right time, waiting for a sign, right? Like, because it's when you put forth the effort and then you wait for, you know, your return or you wait for the response. So it could be that if they're communicating with you right now, they're asking you specific questions or waiting for, uh, to you know, you to respond to see how you feel, that sort of thing. But I mainly see this person analyzing this connection, seeing what they can do differently. What is the Seven of Pentacles? The Devil. Interesting. So some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn, bottom of the deck, the world, the Ace of Pentacles. This person, what they could be trying to figure out right now, especially with the world and the Ace of Pentacles, is letting go of, you know, what is no longer serving them. Remember, guys, with the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords, I did speak about restrictions. The devil could speak about restrictions also. So if it's clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, your person is well aware of what is currently affecting this bond. It could be addictions. It could be attachments elsewhere with the Three of Cups. It could be, um, you know, um, like limiting beliefs. It could be a fear, uh, a mindset of fear, 
right? But they're realizing what is in the way and they're working on it. They're like, how do I approach this in a different manner? Why? Because the world and the Ace of Pentacles, they do want a new beginning here, but they want a stable new beginning. But they're becoming, they're they're getting very real with their self. They're being very real with their self. Like, what's in the way? What do I need to change? There's something here that's not working for me, not working for Libra, not working for the connection. So I need to do something to alter that. Um, so that I can see, you know, a different result here. And I feel like it's not easy for your person. Your person could be battling something here in silence and um, with the devil upright, they're still going through it. They're actively working through it. I don't see that it has come to an end as of yet. So let's see the uh, future outcome here. Justice, okay, which is your card. So this could be you, you know, things working out in your favor or maybe even um, feeling like uh, there's some sort of balance that's being restored. For some of you, the balance that's coming in is you finally get to say what you wanted to say or you feel very understood by this individual, okay? Um, this could also be like couples therapy or like going to someone for advice, whether that's you or your person, uh, so that you guys can get more information on the connection here. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, wow. That's powerful, guys. You know, this person not only wants to overcome, you know, the hurt that is present, but with the justice as well as the uh, six of pentacles here in the future outcome, it, it shows me a very fair outcome where not only do you feel like things are working out in your favor, you feel like there is um, equal give and take. There's reciprocity. What you're putting in to the connection, you're receiving back from it. Does that make sense? So I see a very fair outcome where both parties are happy with the justice as well as the six of pentacles. Um, but as far as on your person's end, I do feel like they're trying to close out a cycle or let go of something that's making them feel restricted. So even if you're aware of what's making this person feel restricted, in the future, I see you guys like whether this is a conversation and then it leads to you guys moving into, uh, you know, a relationship or bonding with each other. Um, it's just a lot of equal give and take. You're not going, going to feel like things are one sided and, and you're not going to feel like you're receiving any sense of unfair treatment. So I actually see the future outcome as very positive because, again, guys, justice and six of pentacles is very fair grounds. Someone meeting you halfway. Um, but I do feel like what's going on behind the scenes is them letting go of something that makes them feel restricted. And right now with the Seven of Pentacles and the Devil, they're thinking about how to let go of what makes them feel restricted. Seven of Pentacles is when you're observing. It's like, okay, well, this works and this doesn't. So how do I change this? That sort of thing. Okay. So my wonderful Librans, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.